Hello, this is Craig and welcome back to Cruising Off Duty. If you've been watching the channel, you know that we're right in the middle of a catamaran review series. What we're doing is we're reviewing catamarans that were at this year's Annapolis Sailboat Show, and walking through them, showing them to you, and telling you what we think. Mostly our criteria is we want a boat that's well-built, seems spacious and comfortable at anchor, and yes, has some decent sailing capabilities. In that order, probably because we figure when we live on a boat full time, and that's the plan, we need to have enough space to store all of our crap. The second thing is we figure about 90% of our time will be spent at anchor. So comfort at anchor, therefore your interior volume and your seating capacity, both inside and outside, is more important than whether this thing can do 10 knots versus eight knots of speed in various wind situations. So keep that in mind. You might be different if you're looking for a catamaran just to be your getaway on vacation boat, then you probably don't need as much space as we're looking to have. If you are the kind of person that craves speed and doesn't really care about storage capacity or volume of rooms or anything like that, this boat is probably the one for you. We're gonna talk about the Outremer 5X. It's big, it's long, but it's not super beamy. So it's probably not for us, but it might be for you. Okay, I'm showing you a website called boatspecs.com. Go there if you want the specs on this boat. But if you look down, you can see all the displacement, the length and the beam and how, how big the motors are. I think there's 75 horsepower diesels each. So yeah, a lot of people have been asking that. Can you get more into the specs of these boats? This is the website for you, so go check it out. And of course, people are always curious about what the prices are of these catamarans we're about to do a walkthrough. The Utremer 5X on Yacht World is mind blowing. Even older 2012s are running at 1.3, 1.4 million. The newest one I saw in here was a 2017 at 1.6 million. Let's just assume to get a brand new one's gonna cost you probably north of $2 million. It's just way, way, way out of a normal person's price range. So the fact that we aren't in love with this boat probably makes it easier to swallow. So let's go take a walkthrough and see what $2 million will get you. So we're going on the Utremur 5X, which is actually, even though you'd think it would be 50 feet because it's a 5X, it's actually 59 feet, so it's pretty much a 60 foot boat. So probably well out of our price range, oh, but yeah. uh, there he is. so there you go. You got the dual, actually you got tr <laughs> three to steering stations. You got one over there, you got one over here, and then this pole in the middle here is actually a, a, t a tiller. Oh, okay, there's four, four steering stations. And as you can see, big wide decks, which is really nice. Dagger board, angled out, so it's not taking up your uh, walking space. And as per usual, they have some nice flush, a nice flush hatches so yeah. you don't stub your toe. It's super wide. Our complaint has always been they take up so much space with these trampolines that it could be storage or something but their useful. Focus is speed. Yeah, their focus is speed for sure. So this There's is a fast no cat. Princess. Oh yeah, no. Jan's like, what? No princess seat? No, no princess seat. But you have ample. Trampoline. Trampoline as far as the eye can see. I think in my, I prefer a bigger interior cabin. I think it's gonna be smaller inside because of how big they make the, you know, for a 60 foot boat. This is a huge amount of space outdoors. It's not really used for anything other than laying on a trampoline. It's not storage, it's not interior space, it's just trampoline. But that definitely takes down the weight of the boat, which means makes it faster. So if you're into speed, this is the this boat. That's a nice boom. Mm. Big upper deck area. Yeah. With all of these lines on the thing deck, though, you're not really going to be able to use solar. you got lines on both sides. Really? Lines here and lines over there. Yeah, the lines are all out in the open. And the only spot you have is right under your boom, which is really not the best spot to put solar panels. So that's something to consider. And then you have your dual helm. This one has everything. Look at the size of the winches. Holy crap. Yeah, it's a big step down though. Stepping down is, it's a big step down. But I, I like that. I'm sure the teak floor is excellent, but mm -hmm. very pretty. Mm -hmm. These are wide. It's very wide. And then you've got a big area here for seating. And then let's go check out the galley. One sink. Yeah, although. Really? It's got a garbage hole. But it's 
a nice haircut for your spices, but uh, one thing. Yeah. The way solar panels they could have put another sink here. They could have put, they could have put another sink somewhere. Huh? Now let's go that side because I think people just came out of the side. Nice, it's very modern. Yeah, the microwave. Very clean. Windows are big. Yeah, windows are nice. Window. Yeah, there's a lot. Is that cool? Yeah, for sure. So we're going to go down this side, which sort of looks like it might be the owner's version side. Nope. So you got two cabins on this side. This looks like it's set up to be more of a bunk. Which I guess gives you a little extra sleeping space without being... Yeah. For children's and kids. For children's. And then, and then you have their full head, or full cabin here. So you must have only one head. Is there a head back there? Check that door. Okay, I missed it. Okay, so there's a head here with a smallish shower. It's not very big. And then you have your sink and your toilet's not here. Was that toilet back there? Toilet <coughs> sink. And you're right. That's it. No shower. Okay, so the shower is over here and a sink. So you got a, a sink and a shower over here. And then over where Janice is is, is, is your toilet and another sink. No shower. Which is interesting. So you're sort of sharing the, between the two. You've got two sinks and yeah. one shower. So and one here, there's multiple bunks. There's like at least two people here, one people, two people there. There's not because of sharing one. Okay, it's like a it's like a house. <laughs> yeah, and the dagger board would be behind this wall here, so there's well, no storage the there. So I mean, so between the two, you only have one shower. Yeah. But you don't have yeah you don't have any way to get around the bed. No, no accessibility. No that's because the hall is narrower. The halls are narrow, even though it's a 60 what? foot, 59 okay. foot boat. The halls are narrow, so you're not going to get all the space around the uh, berth as you would on a bigger, like a lagoon. Non Long, yeah, non racy boat. And there's no cabinets to like speak of here, like for no, clothes or anything. Closet. The white mm -hmm. Yeah, like where do you put all your clothes? Thank you. I'm going to go on the owner's side. So you got a fold out table here. That's yeah, nice seating. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out how this all works. Okay, so this is the owner's side. So you have a, you get really, it's, it is a really wide bed, even though there's no space on either yeah. side. It's really wide. Like, it's a, no, for sure. It's like a queen. So it's almost bigger than it. Well, if the other ones are queen, this is bigger than a queen. All right. <laughs> and then, again, the same problem. There's not a ton of closet space. There's some here, actually. On the owner's side, there's some here. So that's okay. And there's a big one here, I'm assuming. So that's an angle. Yeah. So the owner's side has places to store your clothes. And more here. They have a big bathroom. It's big, it's big, but it's long and narrow. Like, yeah. You know? So you got your sink here. And then you've got your toilet here. Which, of course, is electric. When you spend this kind of money, you better get an electric toilet. And then a standalone shower. It's shower. Yeah, it's a nice shower. It's big. I like that. It's like gray. Yeah. It's wood in here. Very nice. So I guess it would be kind of dark if the whole boat was in that color. Yeah. Dark. But we both can get. Yeah. We both can be in here. Yeah. There. Yeah. So we have both of us in this one room, which is for showers. Good shower. Yeah. Very. It's like a spa in here. But the only thing I do find it's is like this, the only the owner side has any kind of storage for clothes. Yeah, under the bed, but you can't put everything you own under the bed. As you can see as we come up the stairs, it's a decent sized salon, but for 59 feet, I wouldn't call it large. There's a nice forward facing nav station, which is good. And there's plenty of outdoor space and seating for a 59 foot boat, you would hope so. And then finally, I'm gonna go up and show you the duplicated helm station. And you have, again, you're paying for this though, right? You've, you've got, everything's duplicated on this side. So you've got the big, huge winches on both sides and you've got some instruments on both sides. So in a way, you're, you know, but that's not coming for free. You're paying extra for that. And then if you really wanna hold a tiller, if that's your thing, this chair here is for sitting and using that tiller. And they have that on the other side as well. So you have four places to steer from, so. <laughs> Friendly salespeople. It's a racy boat. <laughs> Clearly built for speed. Yeah. 
Why yeah. did why is that some AC <laughs> Okay, we just came off the Uchimer 5X or X5. Yes, so it's 5X? 58 to 59 feet, yeah. It's 58 right. or 59 feet. So if 5X is mis mislabeled, it should be a 6X because it's almost 60 feet. But anyways, it's a long, long, Big long coat. Long, yeah. Long and skinny. So it's probably not for us. A, it's probably no. out of our price range. Right. B for sure out of our price range. Yeah. B, it's the one with a 60 foot boat and I didn't find any of the cabins were were really big enough. Ample for that. And on the known owner side there's like no cabin. No. And on the other side there's certainly no settee. But that, that's you know, it's a bit narrower, the dagger board takes a chunk. Mm -hmm. And that I realize matters to people that want to go fast and fast. Yeah. And the finishings were gorgeous. The, yeah. the, sh the, the master bath, the, everything about it, the, the sink, the shower was beautiful and very modern. And I love that. I can see why somebody would really like this oh, boat. Oh, for sure. Like somebody who right. cared more about speed yeah. than. Yeah, so this is not their full time we home. Would and this thing. We would sink this boat with all the stuff we have. <laughs> we would, we would, we would the boat would be half in the water. Have, no, we wouldn't be no. going fast. So. Yeah, but if this was your second home, if you had a real home and a real job, and this yeah. is your boat to get away, and you like to go from A to B really fast, this is probably this is your boat. Yeah, slim, slim hauls, dagger boards, it goes like snot. Yeah, I'm assuming. Exactly. The galley was gorgeous. The finishes were nice. It only had one sink. One sink. For some reason, but that's really my only critique of that. Mm -hmm. uh, the in inside settee was nice. the inside dining area was nice and big. The outdoor dining area was really yep. big and. Uh, but for almost 60 feet, it should be. Yeah, big. better be big. Yeah. But yeah. And there's nowhere to sit in the front. It's just trampoline. Like yeah. Oodles and noodles of trampoline. Yeah. No, no princess seating. Seat. No princess no, okay, seat. No, no storage. Lounging area. No, or, none of that. You know. So if you love trampolines, this is your boat as well. But if you want storage or seating area or something like that, this boat doesn't have it. So this is the end of this episode. But the next episode, we're going to head off to one of our favorites. It's probably a little too big for us, which is the Majestic 530. Which is my favorite, okay? For interior. Just yes. oh. <laughs> no, no, we're done in two seconds. We'll say hi in a sec. So uh, Majestic 530 is coming out next. I love that boat. Yeah, she, she loves that boat. <laughs> Too big for us, but she loves the boat. You'll see why in a second. Bye for now. We were so looking forward to the Majestic 530 again after seeing it last year. This is footage from last year's episode where we took a tour, a guided tour of this boat, and fell absolutely in love with it. Janice, as you know from these episodes before, loves wood, and this boat is non-stop wood throughout. It was beautiful. Unfortunately, this year's boat was custom built for a new owner that decided to go with this matte gray finish. It didn't look woody at all. We talked to the builder and they said that was his choice, that this gold wood or this whatever, this honey colored wood is the standard. Everything's the same price. You tell them what kind of finish you want and you get it. So definitely go back and check out last year's episode because the episode you're gonna see in the next episode is actually a different interior, not nearly as impressive to us as the last year's model. So. Check it out. Okay, in conclusion, the Utremur 5X is a nice boat if you are super rich, don't need a lot of storage, and want a sailboat that goes like snot, then this is your boat. But if you're like us, not rich, don't care too much about speed, and just want interior volume and comfort and storage, then it's probably not your boat. So, on to the next episode, which is the boat we like a lot more, which is the Majestic 530. It checks all the boxes. I mean, it's big. It's 53 feet long and beamy, so there's lots of volume, there's lots of storage. It's wood veneer pretty much throughout with nice countertops. We love that boat so much. You really should go back and watch last year's episode where we did the walkthrough. It'll blow your mind. But there's other episodes coming up that we also like the boats. We like the Maverick 400. We like the Antares 44. And of course we love the Exquisite X5, not to be confused with the 5X that we just saw. And we still have one of the big mass production builders, Leopards, to go over. So we got a lot to come. Hopefully you're looking forward to that. So subscribe so you don't miss those episodes. Give this one a thumbs up if you found it informative or entertaining. And until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising.